devil may cry. On the 17th of October, I got the chance to play Devil May Cry 5, and it was one of the most happiest days of my life. Why, you may ask? Well, you sit there and I will recount a story of demons, swords, and robotic arms. So, there was an event held in London uh, by the Capcom UK staff where you could go to a gaming bar called Server and there would be six PlayStations, not PlayStations, but stations where you play, uh, set up with the Devil May Cry 5 demo on Xbox One. The format was first come first serves and be generous to the person next to you in having turns, pretty much. So everyone pretty much got one, two or even three turns a piece as there was only about, I'd say, 20, 30 people there. So it was a really good time. So, the demo. It was amazing. It felt very much like Devil May Cry 4, with obviously the fact that most of Nero's moves are from Devil May Cry 4, which meant it was easy to pick up for someone who's already played a lot of Devil May Cry 4, and also absolutely loved Nero, and if I do say it myself, wasn't a bad player with Nero. He was probably my strongest character out of all of Devil May Cry 4, even though obviously I played Dante a lot in Devil May Cry 3 back in the day. However, the difference here is that now instead of a Devil Bringer, he has a Devil Breaker. I'm really going to miss the Devil Bringer. The concept of it just felt really cool, the fact that it's just this demonic arm and the detailing on the arm, even back on the original PlayStation 3 version, was amazing. But thankfully all of the moves have been replicated with the Breaker and a bit more. So the Breaker's default ability is a wire pull, which basically works the same as the grab did in the Devil Bringer from Devil May Cry 4. The other abilities depend on the arm you're using. I'm not going to bore you guys with all the details as you probably already know all of them and how they work, but they were a real treat to use and they really changed up the gameplay because you had a lot more options on what you could do. I actually didn't get around to using all of them. I think I missed out on using the Gerbera, which I don't know how to pronounce, but I used the uh, primary one, which name I can't remember either. I'm not doing very well with names on these bre breakers. I'm sure you can go and look them up though. But I used the one, that, the standard breaker, which electrocutes people. That was pretty much fun. The one that you can shoot and then ride as a sort of rocket. That was pretty damn cool. And I got to use the one that mimics the Devil Bringer. That obviously was my favourite because it was just so so satisfying to pick someone, pick up an enemy and just smash them into the ground. Like that was one of my favourite treats in Devil May Cry 4. Was just that raw power of just smashing a puppet into the ground. There's just just nothing beats it. I mean, just look at it. I mean, look at that. That's just glorious. But putting my hype to one side, it was really great to play the demo, and I can't thank the guys at Capcom UK enough, as the day before it was announced they were going to do this, I was saying to someone, I wish I lived in Japan or America so I could attend one of these events, and then as if they heard me, as if they just plucked me out of Twitter and said, oh hang on, he wants an event, let's do one. And literally they announced it within a week of it happening, which is very unusual, but it was also kind of advantageous, because it probably meant not as many people showed up. Which obviously is not great for them, but for the people that did show up, they obviously had a really good time as it wasn't overly crowded to the point where you couldn't see what was going on. And a nice little touch is the gaming bar was live streaming, or rather showing a live stream of someone playing Devil May Cry 4 um, in the background. So it really felt like you've walked into some sort of like miniature Devil May Cry convention, so all in all, really nice to go to and just props to them for doing that, that's just ultimate fan service. I'm interested to see what the character V is going to bring to the game. Uh, the director, whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce as I will butcher it, has said that it's shaping up to be one of the, his favourite characters. And there's a lot of mystery concerning how he's going to play, because he doesn't seem to have a sword. But I'm sure any fears I and everyone else has will be quelled very soon, as he said that they will release some information about V before the year is out, I think, he said in Twitter. So we got until the 30th of December, and then we might find out who this guy is and what his connection is to our main heroes. But, as I said, the game just, it's what we've wanted, it's what we've always wanted. It, just from Nero's gameplay alone, I can tell that this is a true sequel and something that the fans desperately wanted for a very, very long time. And when DMC came out, it's not what they wanted. It wasn't a bad game, DMC, but it wasn't a Devil May Cry 5, and this is. 
which is good that they've listened to us. On a side note, my wonderful cameraman, who doesn't normally do this sort of thing, but he did a great job with this, did his best to capture my face, but I'm quite camera shy, so I've done my best to edit my face out of all of these, but it's just, it's still there. So we're just going to pretend that you can't see that and just focus on the game. At the event they were running this awesome little competition where if at any point during the gameplay you got a triple S, they would give you a t-shirt if you paused the game and showed them. Annoyingly, I did two playthroughs and I got the triple S in my first playthrough, but I wasn't as good at the game as I wanted to be because since it was on an Xbox controller I was a bit not familiar as so I play on a PlayStation, or I used to play on a PlayStation, now I play on a PC. I got some A's, S's and triple S, so I was happy with myself, but it wasn't my best performance. And I didn't actually know that you need to pause the game and go and tell them if you want to get a t-shirt. So I actually had to take this video and show him because I didn't get it on my second playthrough. And when he gave it to me, I was just like, oh my god, this guy is amazing. I could, he could have not believed me or any number of reasons, but he did. And I got a t-shirt, which I was really happy with. As you can't buy these t-shirts, you can only get them at these events. So it felt nice to have something like to show that I've made the effort to get down there and play this game. Because... I've loved this game, or all the games, since I was 12, maybe 13. I, I remember my mum bought me Devil May Cry 1, just because uh, it looked cool. And I remember playing it, and I remember that first time you go into the castle, and it's all spooky, and then the puppets show up, and you start fighting them, and it's amazing, and it's action, and it's cool, and it's just Devil May Cry, and it was wonderful. And then... Here we are, dozens of years later, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna count how many, and we've finally got a Devil May Cry 5, which we thought, I honestly thought we were never gonna get one. So I'm so happy I did, and I'm so happy that they did an event for us to go and attend before the game's out. Anyways, I've probably rambled on a bit too long, so if you're still here, thank you very much, and I hope you've enjoyed. If you did like it, please give me a like, and if you didn't, a dislike. And if you'd like to see more of this, then please subscribe to my channel, and I hope I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!